Today I'm going to be looking at 10 great features from previous versions and the most recent version of Filmora which is 13.2. If you haven't got version 13.2 you can download it, the link is in the description below. And stick around for number 10, it's the one I use the most and I'm sure you'll love it. Right, let's jump in. The first feature we're going to look at is asset management and this will really help with your editing, your workflow and the organization of your files. Let me show you how I use mine. If you go up to media in the top left and there's a global media tab, click on that and you can see here I've created folders that I import all of my images, music, videos into etc that I use on a regular basis because these will then be available in any project that you use. So to create a folder you simply right click anywhere and add a new folder. Once you've added that folder you can right click and then rename it and then inside those folders you can import media that you use on a regular basis. So for example I use these sound effects, some of my images, my background music, sample videos etc etc. If you want to see how to use this in more detail, there's a full tutorial link in the description below. But don't forget, if you do go and watch that, please come back and watch the rest of these features because there really is some good ones in there. Feature number two we're going to look at is Instant Mode and you'll find it on the startup window of Filmora. Just click Instant Mode there. Then you get to choose a theme. I'm going to choose Travel because it's a holiday. And I'm going to click on one of the themes. So for example, Cinematic Opener. You click there, give it a second to download. Once it's downloaded, it'll ask you to import your media. You can choose up to 50 images and or videos. So I'm going to do a mixture, just of a few of mine. Once it's imported, simply click on Auto Create. In no time at all, you'll have this fantastic video. How good does that look? Really clever. And you can change all the text and everything within there and I'll show you how to do that by clicking on the tutorial link in the description. It really is worth looking at, it's in depth and you really can create a great video using instant mode. Feature number three is auto reframe and this is a great tool to be able to create YouTube shorts from long form or horizontal video. Let me show you how it works. So on the startup window of Filmora if we scroll across to the right hand side you'll see somewhere along there it'll say auto reframe. Click on that, that then asks you to import your footage. I'm going to import a video of a bird walking along the sand. Now you can see it's at the left at the moment and we want that to be in the center all the time. So when you click play, you'd like that bird to be in the center all the time. The way we do that is we first of all analyze the video, making sure the aspect ratio is nine by 16 for the short. Now it starts off where it doesn't pick it up at first and you can see it then does pick it up. So what we need to do is once it's picked it up, just scroll back a bit and reposition the frame to where you want it to be. Scroll back again, a bit more, reposition the frame and then maybe at the start. Now when you play, it will follow the bird and keep it in the center of the frame. How amazing is that? That would take ages to edit normally, but with auto reframe, it takes a couple of seconds. You then simply export your video. The link to the full tutorial is in the description below the video. Feature four is 3D titles. This is a powerful tool and this can really enhance your video. You can use some of the presets, which makes it very easy to create amazing looking 3D titles. Let's take a look. So let's go to our titles tab, go down to 3D titles, and here we can choose any of these 3D titles. Now some of these are paid as well, so I'm just gonna change the free ones. These are all free. You don't have to pay for any of these. So let's just choose one of them. For example, let's choose that second one. Take a second to download. And there we have it. Let's drag that onto our timeline. And now we can edit this further. We can go in and obviously change the text. We can change the font to whatever we want. We can change the size of the font. 
bigger, smaller, and we can choose some 3D material presets. Now, if you can't see them all, just click on the little arrow there, and that will bring up this pane with all 3D options in. Just click on one, and that will change that text. Give it a second to download. When you play that, you can then see what that looks like. Let's choose another one just to see what that looks like. And then we can also change the scale from here. And we can change the position left and right or up and down. But if you click on advanced, the bottom right, this opens up a whole new set of options. And this is where it becomes a really powerful tool. Click on the link in the description and you'll see just how amazing this tool is. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to create eye-catching videos with the wow factor, then that brings us on to feature five, split screen templates. Let's take a look at them. So click on the templates tab, and we need to click on split screen on the left hand side. Here, we have some basic options where you can just drag and drop your videos into them. And these are all free, all the split screen templates are free. So it's great to use them. Let's go down and have a look at some others. For example, vlog. Let's use this one. If you haven't already downloaded it, when you click on it, it will take a minute or two to download. I'm just gonna drag that onto my timeline. I'll move in a bit so I can see the six screens. And this is where we place our six videos. I've got some stock media I'm gonna use. And you simply just click your video and drag it onto each of the video numbers to fill up your six screens. Couldn't be any simpler. You can also, on each of them, is click and then choose to make them bigger or smaller so you can get more of the video in the screen. And you can do that with all the videos and there's other options you can use. But let's just see what that looks like. Amazing, quick, simple, easy, and like I said, it's got the wow factor. I've got two tutorials for this feature, so check them out in the description below. The next great feature is keyframes, and I use this a lot in my videos. Keyframes can help you to enhance your video by scaling it up, rotating it, maybe dropping the opacity, changing color, and doing it all in a nice, smooth way. Let me show you how keyframes work, and I strongly advise watching the full tutorial because it really will enhance your video editing. Okay, let's get to the start of a clip that I've dragged down. And the first thing we need to do is create a keyframe. That'll be our intro keyframe. So I'm going to transform the scale and the rotate. So instead of doing them individually by clicking on them individually, if I click on the transform keyframe diamond, it highlights all of them. Right, so I'm now going to move in a little bit and I'm going to change the scale on that. Now you can either click on the diamond again or you can just scale it up. You've already created a keyframe. So you can see once you do that, the keyframes automatically appear. So I'll scale that up and I'll rotate it slightly as well. Make it slightly bigger so it fills the frame. Okay, I'm going to move in maybe six frames, do another keyframe on opacity, move in a little bit more and do another keyframe. You have to do a start keyframe and an end keyframe for things to happen. So I'll move the opacity down a little bit. I'll move in another six frames maybe. And I'll do a keyframe for color this time. So I'll do an in keyframe. So I'll move along a little bit further. And this is where I can now change some of the temperatures and the tint and the vibrance and really change the color to whatever you want, obviously, and make it a bit brighter, and take the contrast right up as well. Right, let's see what that's done to our video. So it scales, and as you can see, it's really smooth, and you can play around with keyframes after you've created them. That's in the tutorial. Then it'll change its opacity, and from there, it'll change its color and I'll use keyframes to reset everything back to the way it was. So I'll move in a bit, and I'll reset all the keyframes back to their standard 100%, and I do this by clicking on the little back arrow there. So I'll do the transform, the opacity, I'll go to the color tab, 
I'll change the colour and the light and that takes it back to the way it was so let's see how that now looks so I'll take it back to where it was changing and then it'll start resetting itself scaling back down the opacity will decrease the colours going away and there we go back to 100% and that's how you use keyframes number seven is masks and I've got to say it again it's a great tool which I use very often in my videos a mask lets you cut out part of an image or a video to see what is behind it let me give you an example so I've got two images on the timeline I have an airplane on the top and an image of a sky behind now you can't see the sky different color sky because the airplane is on top so that's what's shown first I want to cut away all this sky or just highlight the airplane so we can see the different sky underneath and the way we do that we go to masks now there are a number of ways of doing this in the latest version of film order there's a new tool called AI mask if you click on that you see you have options here to choose a smart brush a select character or select subject I'm going to select subject and you can see it gives you a preview underneath if you hover over that it cuts out all the sky so you can see the sky behind so that makes it very easy to use some of the other options we can use are the draw mask where you actually draw around and plane yourself and you can see a little magnification window comes up so you can see what you're drawing or where you're clicking on and then to finish that you click on the first one that you started and that cuts that out you can then invert that mask so you can see all of the sky and just the bit behind or vice versa some of the other options are rectangles which you can change the size of you have spheres or circles you've got lines and there's other options there but in this case because the foreground is nice and clear I will be using the AI mask so I'll choose that hover over it and then you'll see all the mask points come up where you can change them if you want to so you can drag these out and do whatever you want with them if something isn't quite right but well, this one looks good I go more in depth into masks in the tutorial linked below number eight on my list is music generator and this allows you to generate royalty free AI music within Filmora and use it in your videos let's show you how it works we go to our audio tab and we click on AI music we make sure we're on the tool section and click on start from here we can choose the mood the theme and the genre we can choose the tempo how long the music is going to be and how many pieces of music we want to generate so for this video I'm going to choose epic the theme will be cinematic and the genre will be electro and dance I'll leave the tempo normal the video is only 30 seconds long so I'll change that to 30 seconds and I'll just create one piece of music click on start and that will generate it for you again I go more in depth in the tutorial at the end of this section so please take a look at that once it's generated which may take a minute or two you can click on it and preview it that's okay from here you can download it to your library by clicking on there and you can simply click and drag and drop it underneath your video let's close that window a little pop-up comes up saying that that piece of music will be cleared but it is already downloaded into your library so that's okay let's have a listen and see what it sounds like not bad maybe you should have done that on a slow tempo I do examples of different tempos and different themes and genres in the tutorial so please take a look at that one of the newer features is at number nine and that's compound clips this can really streamline your editing and help you do numerous tasks at one time let me show you how they work on my timeline I've got two lots of clips with two images there so music and an effect and on the second one I've got a single clip video clip music and a sound effect there as well and this is what they look like at the moment now we can obviously individually edit all of these clips and music but what if we want to edit them all as one this is where compound clips help you highlight all of your footage right click and choose create compound clip you name it whatever you want 
click OK. And there you have it, one clip with all of that in. So now what we can do is highlight that clip and change all the properties. We can scale it up and that will scale all of the clips in within the compound clip. And we can do things like change the opacity, higher the volume, change all the colors. And like I said, this will affect all of the clips within your compound clip. If we want to get back to editing them individually, we simply click on the top left and choose our compound clip. In this case, it's compound clip two. It tells you that editing the composite timeline content will affect the added functional effects of the composite clip, including motion tracking, masks and keyframes. We haven't put any on there, so that's okay. And there we are, back to our normal individual clips. So that's compound clip in a nutshell, but if you want to see an in-depth tutorial, and I do recommend that you do because it can be really helpful, click on the link in the description below. The tenth and final feature is I think one of the best features within Filmora. It's called Smart Cutout. And what Smart Cutout will allow you to do is isolate an object in a image or a video so that you can remove the background. Let's jump in, I'll show you what I mean. So on the timeline at the moment, I have a video of a space shuttle coming into land. And I've also got a red background and you'll see why that's there in a minute. Right, to use Smart Cutout, we go to AI Tools, we activate Smart Cutout, and then we click on Click to Start Smart Cutout. Now, what it wants us to do is highlight the image that we want to use. So I'm just going to increase this to 100% so I can see it better. And then you simply draw over that image. Just like that. You click to Start Smart Cutout, and let the AI work its magic. What it's doing is it's actually tracking that image now. So let it go right to the end. Once it's finished, let's go back to Fit and choose Save. Now you can see it's cut out all the background and it's done it as a video. Whereas masking is great to be used on a single image, I believe Smart Cutout is better for videos. So let's see what that looks like. Isn't that amazing? That's a great feature and I've kept the best to last. Don't forget, there's a full in-depth tutorial on this, and this is really one I highly recommend that you watch. Well, I hope you enjoyed those features of Filmora, and I hope you get to use them yourself. They're easy to use, and they can make your videos look really good. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. I really do appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.